Refrigerator magnets can make your kitchen look cool. But what if magnets could cool your refrigerator? The way they work is actually very simple. University of Nebraska Lincoln researcher Christian Benick works on magnetic refrigeration. It's a cooling method that creates ultra low temperatures, so cold that molecules almost stop moving. Let's assume you have uh, a pump which you use to, to inflate the tires of your, of your bicycle, for example, right? You know that if you compress the air in the pump, then it's getting hot, right? And on the other hand, if you let it expand, then it cools down. Now what we do is a magnetic one-to-one -one mapping of this effect. It turns out that if you have magnets, which you can picture as systems having small magnetic compass needles, which you can align actually in a magnetic field. When you align these compass needles in a magnetic field, you do work on the system, which corresponds to the compression you did with the gas. And when you remove the magnetic fields, all these aligned compass needles start to randomize again. And that corresponds to the expansion process. And during that process, the system cools down again. Magnetic refrigeration has been used in the lab for years. Benick wants to modify this technology for consumer refrigerators. So the challenge today is to take these old ideas, the thermodynamics is fully understood, but to take these ideas and find the materials which bring the effect to where we need it to cool our turkey. So that means somewhere in, in the room temperature regime. Benick's work is funded by a grant from the Nebraska Center for Energy Sciences Research. Magnetic refrigeration will have many advantages over conventional gas compression refrigeration. You save energy because our efficiency is up to 50% higher than the, the old stuff. And uh, you don't have these ozone depletion chemicals uh, uh, like Freon, for example, and that's another advantage. So, And it can be more compact. Cool research with hot prospects.